What's good? What's good? It's the one and the only, but what do I know? Boxing coming back at y'all with another one, man. So, we got Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia in the news today, man. Victor Conte, this is Victor Conte's verified Twitter account. Um, for y'all that don't know Victor Conte, he works with a worked with a lot of well, you should know who Victor Conte is. Um But you know, he's worked with a lot of, you know, Olympians and gotten some issues himself back in the day. Um but anyways, he's he stated uh props to and he tagged real Devin Haney for demanding uh eight weeks of stringent body testing for his up and coming bout with at Ryan Garcia at Golden Boy Promotions provided sponsorship. In my opinion, transparency is important. Boxing deserves to know that Ryan Garcia did not do any training camp drug testing for his last fight. Wow. So he did not do. He said he's basically saying that um, Ryan Garcia did not do any, you know, VADA testing for his last fight or whatnot. And I wanted to talk about it for a little bit, man. So I, I do want to know, like, you know, I would love to know fighters reason is for this, right? Uh... First of all, let me give a major shout out to Floyd Mayweather who uh, brought in the Olympic style um, drug testing in the professional boxing, uh, in the professional settings, uh, which a lot of people don't even uh, know that. But like, yeah, what is, you know, the whole reason that him and Manny Pacquiao's fight was being, was being held up was because Floyd Mayweather was wanting, um, he wanted to do Olympic style drug testing. Uh, I think it was up until the fight or up until a week before the fight, maybe, but Manny Pacquiao wanted it to stop uh, 20, 21 days before the fight or something like that. They couldn't agree on the testing or whatever, and um, which which caused ultimately, like cause it, a lot of people don't know, Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather was, was supposed to fight. They had signed to fight, uh, or they were negotiating a deal to fight March 13th of 2010, but when Manny Pacquiao, you know, the climb the Vada testing uh he ended up fighting who was that Joshua Claudia and Mayweather ended up fighting Shane Mosley in May of that year or whatnot so Floyd actually kind of brought the Olympic style they always did drug testing after the fights but Floyd kind of brought the Olympic style drug testing uh into you know or made it or made it uh you know more popular or whatever in the pro professional settings all right so I want to give a shout out to that to Floyd for that because a lot of fighters have been testing positive for God knows what during these these you know these the testing or whatever. Now this is for the WBC and the WBC requires you to get tested during your training camp, right? Because Devin Haney is the WBC champ at 140 pounds, so that's a requirement. You know that that um, Ryan Garcia has to, uh, you know he has to fight. Um, he has to to fight. Or he has to get tested if he's going to fight for the WBC title. Now, why he hasn't gotten tested in, in his last fight, you know, he wasn't fighting for the WBC title or whatnot. But if he does not get tested in this fight, then I, I feel like that's going to be a problem. And ultimately, I, I'm going to be honest, I feel like Devin Haney should not... Um, I feel like Devin Haney shouldn't shouldn't go through with the fight, bro. If, if, if Ryan Garcia doesn't... Um, if something is going on with the testing... Because this is a, this is a serious this is a serious you know sport like a lot of people a lot of people don't realize how serious it is and Teddy Atlas said one of the greatest things ever uh, when when speaking on Mayweather and Pacquiao and their issues with the testing Teddy Atlas made the, the best point to me of everybody stating that like it's one thing to shoot yourself up and go hit a baseball out of a park right that's 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 one thing right. But it's a whole nother thing when you're shooting self, yourself up and punching somebody in the face, bro. Like, that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother issue right there. And I couldn't agree anymore, bro. Not saying that uh, Ryan Garcia is testing positive for, I mean, I'm sorry, is uh doing in, you know, any type of PEDs or whatever. I'm not accusing him, but I do know if the shoe was on the other foot, a lot of people would be accusing Devin Haney or, or questioning Devin Haney or whatnot. I remember when the Charlo brothers, um, the, I think it was the WBC, had uh, made a post saying that they could not get in contact with the Charlo brothers to test them or whatnot. And everybody was try, pretty much trying to say that they were 
uh, using PEDs or whatnot, but come to find out the Charlo brothers were out of town or something like that, because they randomly pop up, bro. They will randomly pop up on you. And um, except for the hours now, they don't, from what I understand, I, I want to say Chris Eubank stated this. Um, they, they, the only time they don't come is between the hours of 11 p.m. and 7 a.m. So uh, before those hours, they won't come, which I can completely understand because that would piss me. Nothing more would piss me off than somebody waking, like knocking at my door freaking three or four in the morning talking about they want to drug test me, bro. Like that would piss me all the way off. Like, dude, no, you're not finna, but you're not finna come over at my house and uh, at, at this time of hour while I'm trying to sleep, bro. Like, nah. So I, I can understand that. I'm not, um, I'm, you know, I, I get that, but. You know, hopefully Ryan Garcia clears this up, man. I don't need anything getting in the way of this fight, bro, because this is definitely a fight that I'm uh, looking forward to just because of the, you know, the, the even the, what Ryan Garcia did when walking up on uh, Devin Haney or whatever, bro. Like, I just thought, I, I think, you know, this is, um, this is a good fight, bro. This is a good fight. I think it's going to be a, a big payday involved. Uh, I'm definitely going to buy and support the fight. Um, so this is a fight that we need, bro. So I I, I don't I hope nothing uh, interferes with this because, bro, again we need this fight. Um, hopefully Ryan can clear himself up. He I think that Ryan Garcia really needs this victory, bro. I'm gonna be honest with you. If he loses to Devin Haney, um, there'll always be fights out there for him. But I don't think that people will take him serious in the sport of boxing. I think this will kind of hurt his image in the sport of boxing whereas with the tank davis fight ryan garcia had he could he could at least he could say well you know i was uh dehydrated and you know they met me at a catch weight but in this fight right here it's really no excuses and i think ryan's back is against the wall in this right because i mean bro who's gonna take him serious a lot of people don't even remember ryan garcia has never fought for a world title up until now let that sink in your mind Bro, it shows you the power of social media. Ryan Garcia is a social media star, but he has never fought for a world. But, but I mean, just think about that. This is his first world title opportunity. It didn't have to be his first world title opportunity. He had it. He had the chance to fight for the WBC at 135 pounds, but he chose to uh, pass that up. So, I mean, you know, losing a tank. Uh, I just, I don't know, bro. I think that Ryan Garcia is also. You know, I, I don't think that Ryan Garcia is really taking boxing his his legacy serious is is you know I just don't think so, man. Like seriously, you know he was trying to get a fight with Roley. That would have been another big fight. I think Roley is on the same path as Ryan. He I don't think he, I think he just wants the big fights. He doesn't he wants the big money. And um, but as far as Devin Haney goes, man, I, I think Devin Haney is on the roll. I think Devin Haney beats. I think he outboxes Ryan Garcia. Um. It, maybe 10 rounds to two i don't see how i just unless if ryan garcia lands a a a, a good shot that that takes uh, devin haney out i just don't see how devin how ryan garcia can beat devin haney where he just makes too many mistakes and he's not that much of a smart fighter if you ask me devin when i don't care how many attributes you have? You could be faster than somebody, stronger than somebody, bro. But if you're not smarter than them in that ring, bro, if your IQ is not as well as this, bro, good luck winning that, bro. And I just, you know, I don't see him, I don't see him beating Ryan Garcia. I mean, I don't see him beating Devin Haney, bro. Um, he has to show me something, bro. That there, he's with Derek James. I don't think that that's a good fit. But he's gonna have to show me something, man. He's gonna have to, bro. He's gonna have to. I don't know, cause I I see Devin Haney. Winning this fight, maybe 11 rounds to one, 10 rounds to two. I, I don't see this fight being close, bro. I really don't. Now, I don't see Devin Haney stopping Ryan Garcia, but but maybe he does. Who knows, bro? I mean, I didn't see. I didn't think he was going to drop Regis Prograde, bro. So maybe he does, bro. Who knows, bro? But I, I'm sorry, man. I I don't see. I don't. I just don't see what Ryan can do um, to beat Devin Haney, bro. I just don't. But that's up for him to show me he has a fast jab he has, he has fast punches bro that's why i say i think that maybe he'll win maybe the, the first round maybe the first two rounds because it is going to take Devin haney a little bit to adjust to ryan garcia's speed but once he gets his timing down it's it's an uphill battle for ryan garcia Dad, that's just my honest opinion all right but 
Enough about me, I want to hear you guys' opinion. And the only way I can do that is for you to make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. But what do I know?